What is up guys, it's Team Tonight here, and today welcome back to another Call of Duty World War 2 video. Now before we the video, smash the like button down below if you do enjoy this video, and subscribe if you are new. But anyway, let's get right into today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best tips I can give you for stopping or reducing lag in Call of Duty World War 2. Now, at first, I kind of hesitated on making this video because it's 2017, I really didn't think a lot of people still had lag issues. But I still see people with two bars and one bar in lobbies. And I wanted to make this to help out those people. So without further ado, let's get right into my personal tips on how to reduce lag or stop lag in Call of Duty World War II or pretty much just any multiplayer game. But tip number one is hardwiring your console. This means hooking your console to your internet modem with an ethernet cable. Now some ethernet cables are actually like fairly cheap. The one I have right now is a 200 foot and that was only $5. And to be honest, I didn't even need a 200 foot, I just got a 200 foot Ethernet cable just to be on the safe side. And like I said, that was only 5 bucks on Amazon. If I can find, like, the one I have, like, the Ethernet cable I have, I'll probably link in the description below. But yeah, most Ethernet cables are, like, 5 to $20. You should be able to find one for fairly cheap on Amazon or eBay. I personally recommend Amazon. That way you don't get scammed because, you know, eBay can be unreliable at times. But, yeah, find an Ethernet cable. If you don't have an Ethernet cable, you know, buy one on Amazon and hook it up to your PS4. And that should reduce the lag if it doesn't stop the lag. It should reduce it a bit. And my second tip is turning off any devices using the Internet. Your device can be using what is called bandwidth. Also, if any family members are watching Netflix or YouTube in the house, that also could be causing you to lag. I know that was my number one source of lag when I was dealing with internet problems. Like, whenever my family members would be watching YouTube and Netflix, I would lag in the game. However, when they weren't watching YouTube and Netflix, I wouldn't lag in the game. So, yeah, that was just my main source of internet problems or connection problems, whatever you want to call it. I'm not telling you guys to kick your family members off of the internet, you know, that would be pretty rude and unfair, but maybe, like, schedule a time, like, hey, you know, for this hour, can I play my game and you don't watch YouTube, and then for the next hour, you can watch YouTube and I won't play my game, like, that's what I, like, compromise with my family members until we got better internet, but, yeah, that also leads to the third and final tip that I can give you, and that is getting better internet. I put this tip last because not a lot of people can afford getting a new internet plan, but if you want to get fully rid of lag, that might be what you have to do. I understand a lot of places don't offer a lot of internet providers, and maybe you're unfortunately stuck with your provider for the rest of your life. Honestly, just make the most out of it if you can't switch internet plans. I dealt with lag for the longest time, and it was very, very annoying. It was so bad that almost every single Call of Duty gameplay of mine had lag in it like i would continuously lag it was so annoying but i used these tips and it helped for the most part until i got a new internet plan but i hope these tips have helped make the lag a little bit better if not completely stop the lag it made the lag a little bit better if you guys did enjoy today's video be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you are new but anyway my name is tim Tai here hope you guys have a wonderful day just keep those positive vibes flowing and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out